And good morning, Raja Scholars and Champions. Mr. Lawson here in the office, Thursday, May 7th, to share with you what's happening today. First, I want to say again, thank you for spreading that Raja positivity, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence. What a great week as we honor and celebrate our teachers nationwide with Virtual Teacher Appreciation Week, and our Rajas have stepped it up. First, I want to share with you just a little, little bit of that. Uh, I have here some copies of some of those posts of people that have been putting out chalk messages. Thank you, Bishop, for doing that for Ms. Pinnell. And then we have students who were wearing red yesterday for Teacher's Day. They took pictures of the, that they had on their phones from during the school year to show that they were wearing red here at school, but they did it at home as well. And then we had parents come by yesterday to honor all of our cafeteria workers for uh, National uh, Cafeteria Workers Day, National Heroes Day for them, and they were um, blowing the horns on their vehicles, had them covered in balloons and beautiful flowers and posters and things, and of course, we have one that came in a red vehicle for Raja Red, Red and Blue. So thank you all for red for wearing red for Ed for Teacher's Day and for all the support you've been giving the staff. I am so proud of all of you. We continue with Teacher Appreciation Week, and we have today and tomorrow. What is today? Today is share a smile with your teacher. Send them an email or put a post on social media with an inspirational song, a dance, a funny joke, or a picture to brighten your teacher's day. I've even seen a few of you doing some TikTok videos with dance. Oh, I would join you, but as my wife says, the music moves me ugly. Not my specialty. <laughs> I guess I could record, record one just so you could have another laugh. Um, that would definitely bring a smile to people, or I should say a laugh to people. So do have fun today and brighten your teacher's day. Also, I want to remind everyone that we are in the middle of campaign week for our class officers, and they've been posting their video clips on social media so that you could see who's running for office and be informed. And on Monday, we will have a unique voting link sent to you on your MyDS account so that each grade level can elect their class officers for next year. So this, for our current 9th, 10th, and 11th, you'll be voting for your class officers for 10, 11th, and 12th. Our for incoming freshmen will have that opportunity when we come back in August to be able to campaign for office and run. So don't forget that's coming up Monday. And then uh, what are they up to? And I'm excited to tell you a little bit about this one. Let me move me out of the way here. Today, our what are they up to is Mr. Rob Bowman. He is a YouTube and podcast phenomenon. And most of his students already know that because they follow his um, YouTube site, which you'll see at the bottom. He's got 303 subscribers. His students watch because he posts some outrageously fun and funny and hilarious posts, as well as some great ones for curriculum. Uh, I even learned how to cook a couple things from one of his, his YouTube videos. Uh, uploads. He is also wanting you to know that he's currently enrolled in online grad school and he's doing homework right now for his classes just like you're doing in online learning. Below here or on the side you'll see that he had, there are pictures from his um, YouTube uploads from his YouTube channel but I also wanted to share with you that he and Miss uh, Douglas in our counseling office have been friends and worked together teaching English uh, at La Quinta High School before they came here. So they've known each other a while and they have a fun podcast called Real Disagreement. So they'll watch a film and uh, an old movie and then they'll banter back and forth, agree and disagree and talk about that particular film and some other topics they have on their podcast. I really had a great time listening and it was quite fun. Um, and below during this week, the other thing he's done, he's been on a couple of different broadcasts. One of them, you'll see the YouTube link listed here. He actually, for the district and for the Education Foundation this week, interviewed um, an author, Andrew Niederman, also known as V.C. Andrews, author of many, many books, um, had the opportunity yesterday to interview him online and have that posted on YouTube and have that available across the district. So proud of you, Mr. Bowman, using all of the resources of social media and technology to reach out and expand your influence on others. Way to go. This week for our Counseling Corner, 
counseling office wants to share with you that it's also Mental Health Virtual Spirit Week, and today is Thinking Cap Thursday. So what's the coping strategy? Journaling or writing something down can help you from your mind just swirling with how you're feeling right now. You know, sometimes we get very anxious with what's going on. And so in order to not be so anxious, you can journal or make a list of those thoughts and feelings, and it helps you kind of bring that sense of Oh, calm relief back. So take a moment and write those things down. Sometimes when we write them out on paper, it helps us to get those things out. So take time to do that today. Also from our counselors, just a few quick reminders. AP exams are starting next week. So go to our website and under academics, you'll see the dates and times for each AP test and some study tips to prepare for your exam. Also, keep checking on your grades on stu student view and ask teachers for help when it's needed because we want all of you to finish strong. And seniors, we want you to pass and graduate, which I'll talk about in just a moment uh, about the change in virtual graduation date to give some of you more time so you can graduate on time. Also, our website has resources on there for you for A through G, for graduation, for college planning as you check under counseling. There's also under there um, things to help you plan for next year so that you're ready for the next school year. There's topics under there also to help you for looking ahead this year for seniors, next year for juniors, to be informed and updated about communicating and accessing information to plan for college. Um, we want you to be able to achieve your goals. And at the bottom of that webpage are some stay healthy resources for you. So go online, check out the counseling website that's listed on our webpage. And some news for our seniors again, just a couple of reminders. I shared with you before, please fill out that thought exchange survey for the superintendent and make sure you're filling out that 10 question panorama survey uh, so that we have information that we can help your fellow students each year as Mr. Gomez and the counselors work to provide even more for you up in the Career Center. And our senior spotlights, we have two of them again today. Thank you for sending these in. And today, Jessica Cabrera Bartolo says, my accomplishment is I made friends that I genuinely love and care about. Her favorite memory, trying to teach uh, Mitzi the renegade in third period. Her plans after high school, attend Cal Poly Pomona and major in animal health science. And her staff shout out to Dr. De Loera for being my pillar of support these past hectic school years. And our second senior spotlight, congratulations to Melanie Perez Gonzalez. Her accomplishment in getting the DVL title with her team this year. Her favorite memory was the trip to their CIF volleyball game, and boy was it an action-packed game up in Anaheim. Then her plans after high school to continue and join the medical field. She wants to give a shout out to Mr. Tate, Mr. Leanhard, Coach Megan Nolasco, Coach Brenda Martinez, and Coach Marcy Hernandez. What a great year that volleyball team had, and I'm so glad, Melanie, that you got to be a part of that uh, history-making year for our volleyball team. And some information for our virtual graduation and for all of our seniors. There are six key points here I want to remind you. Um, cap and gown distribution, along with stoles and cords and all of that will be this Wednesday, May 13th from 4.30 to 7.30 in front of the school uh, in the drop-off lane. Now, you have until Tuesday now, before when graduation was the 29th, and it's still graduation night, but the virtual broadcast will not be till June 10th, and I want to explain why. Before, that meant you had one day, less than 24 hours. You had until 5 o'clock on the next day to upload your picture in a cap and gown and complete your slide. That was a little bit rushed. And the other problem is that two of our high schools get their cap and gowns on that, say, on the 14th. And they mean, that means they would pick it up that evening and they would miss the deadline. It's just not possible for the company to build and put together the whole virtual graduation in time. So we moved the virtual ceremony in order to give you time to upload your slides. And because there's hundreds and thousands of colleges and high schools doing this, the schedule with that company was so jam-packed. So we have, ours will be on June 10th. 
That means because it moved, that gives you until the 19th. So instead of one day or less than one day, now you have six days to be able to get your cap and gown and your cords and all those things, take a great picture, upload your little short video clip uh, that you want to say thank you to your family or friends or, or what your future plans are for college or at career. You can upload all that to your slides so that it can make it in the virtual virtual graduation. I sent you a sample yesterday so you and your family can see what it sort of will look like. Ours is going to be better than the sample. Um, we are going to have some surprises embedded in our broadcast and some awards and some recognition. But we wanted you to be able to have time to do that. Your uploaded photo needs to be in your cap and gown. We want everyone in their cap and gown for this. And we want to make sure to remind all of our summa cum laude students, yes, you will have white caps and gowns. I just want to share with you how important it is. I want all of you to participate. Another reason why it's good that this is the virtual ceremonies move just a little bit, some of our seniors are in jeopardy of not graduating on time. And I don't want you to have to go to summer school and then graduate in July. Like my son did, I want you to be able to be on time. So I want you to be able to have that extra few days to get those assignments in during distance learning and be part of graduation on time. I know that you feel right now like everything's going against you and you're feeling pretty bad. Last night, Brian emailed me asking some questions about this because he was feeling really down about it. And after I talked to him, he's feeling much better and sent me a great email. And thank you, Brian. I appreciated it. But I want to share what I told him. You know, right now, the whole country lost the opportunity to have prom and grad nights and an in-person graduation temporarily during this crisis. And I feel bad that your families can't travel from all over the place to come be here with you for a ceremony in person. I'm in the same boat. I can't go see my nephew graduate for the same reasons. Um, and I can only watch it online from a long distance. But I am grateful that every one of you are still safe. None of you are in the hospital, that everyone's okay. I am so sorry that we couldn't make this happen sooner. I was looking forward. You're my first class to have all four years. And I was looking forward to going with you. Uh, to Mission Beach and to grad night and being a part of those things with you because you're my first group to have all four years. And like I told Brian last night, I wished I had Aladdin's magic lamp and I could have my three wishes from the genie and just fix all this. Um, but the best I can do is to work with the administrative team and all of the teachers and try to give you the most wonderful memories uh, that we can now that you can take with you for the rest of your life and to share with others. So I hope that you will still do your virtual slide and be part of virtual graduation. We're trying to plan some special things in there. We have some special things to give you on Wednesday with your cap and gown. And we just want to make this a lovely time that you can sit with your family, pull out popcorn or however, you know, nachos and sit and watch and celebrate that evening and watch for the surprises. We really do care about you and want you in that ceremony. And then when all of this is over, we can then look at how to celebrate further but we just are glad that you're all safe. So don't forget Wednesday to come and pick up everything. I am so glad that uh, we're able to give you those extra days so that everyone has time to be a part of that ceremony. Also, today's salute for the joke of the day, and I took the word joke of the day off because I thought, the way I'm saying it, people may think I'm making fun of a group. I'm not. I want the joke every day on the broadcast, you always had a joke of the day, and I want to continue the tradition, but I want to connect the joke to one of our groups so that we can do a salute every day. And today our salute is to our Cadet Corps. Now, as you see here in the pictures that are on screen, the Cadet Corps is a school-based leadership program. And it's done in a military framework that's designed to help provide the maximum growth and leadership for our students. And it takes cadets through six objectives. One is to develop leadership skills. Two is to increase their academic achievement. Three, to foster really good citizenship. Four, to promote being good patriots and patriotism. Five, to give them some basic military knowledge. And six, to encourage them to have good health, wellness, and fitness. Now, all of that together gives them opportunities to conduct training for junior cadets, to be leaders here on campus, and to demonstrate the wonderful citizenship and opportunities out in our community.
Our cadets go out and provide a wonderful posting of the colors at our date festival, at our Memorial Day and Veterans Day events that are held at the uh, cemeteries honoring our fallen military personnel. And often they're invited to come to conferences when we have large groups come to the valley for special meetings. Our cadets are invited to go and post colors and to represent Indio High School with great pride and distinction. And as you see here, we also have our cadets at every one of our school functions, our athletic events, uh, our showcase night for our future freshmen. We give them an opportunity to post colors to show our pride. And then each year they demonstrate the proper etiquette for folding a flag and presenting the flag in our own 9-11 ceremony here in the quad. I'm very proud of our military program here with our cadets and what a fine job they do. Thank you, Colonel Stryker, for your leadership. He himself continues to serve our country and every year they call him back for active duty for a few weeks and we're honored and proud to have him as a, a member of the Rajah family. And now, instead of one joke, I had a couple of cadets send me jokes, so I've got two jokes in honor of our cadet corps. So, I'm going to read these so I don't mess up. So, what does, let's see if I get this right. So, what does a corn become when it joins the military? A colonel, of course. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, and now, this one I like. What military branch does a pirate join? The army, of course. Very good, guys. I love those jokes. You did a good job in selecting those for me. And our final thought for the day. Always remember this. Also highly contagious, not the coronavirus. Also highly contagious is kindness, patience, love, enthusiasm, and a positive attitude. Don't wait to catch those from someone else. Be the carrier and spread those wonderful attributes. With that, it's hot outside this week with that warm weather and heat spell. So stay cool and we'll see you tomorrow.